Yo, it's that bro Nez dropping another review on y'all and I'm doing things a little bit different this time. I know normally I have my little sheet out there with all my uh, social media sites and stuff like that but um, I'll put that, you'll see that in the video uh, intro or maybe I'll just do it a little differently but uh, right now I'm outside in my backyard in the uh, backyard oasis back here and uh, I picked up this Coleman quick pump. It's a rechargeable quick pump made by Coleman and it has a fast inflate and a fast deflate feature. Now, I already opened this bad boy up because I wanted to test it out to see how it worked. And now I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm doing a video showing you exactly how this bad boy works now that I see. And uh, so you just gotta bear with me because uh, the way I'm doing this is it's gonna be a little, little rough, possibly even a little sketchy, but um, the end result is you'll see uh, how this bad boy works. Now, I have, two um i have two pool uh, uh flotation device i got a pool uh floaty uh flotation ball one of those you know pool volleyballs i got one of those and i got a an actual tube that uh half the air is leaked out of it already uh so basically what <clears throat> what i want to do is i want to do an inflation and a deflation test all right seeing how one of my uh, things already deflated halfway. I'm gonna go get a different one, and uh, that's already inflated. And I'm gonna deflate them, and then I'm gonna inflate them back. Um, and then, uh, and then we're gonna go from there. But before I do all that, I'm just gonna do a little once around, show you all the content that you get in this bad boy, and then we're gonna go from there. So let's get right in. This is the front of the box. You've been looking at that for the last two or three minutes. Um, uh, two minutes you've been looking at that and, and here goes the side right here oh, Like I said a little makeshift sketchy uh, filming here. That's that side Flip it around. That's this side right here. Just more branding and stuff and uh, letting you know what it's all about the bottom got your UPC code and stuff The top more branding and then the back just giving you a little bit of info on this bad boy. It is hot out here today, let me tell you. But like I said, uh, I'm not reading it. You can pause it and read it. You know I ain't doing it. You know how I do. So uh, there you go, have at it. All right, that's enough. Let's just, let's just hop up in this bad boy. Like I said, I already uh, it's already pre-unpackaged. I went in here already and uh, I checked it out. I charged it up a little bit. So that way you can see, here goes the plug. You know, it comes in the box, plug the charger for it. I'll take that plastic out of there. Okay. You have some different size attachments for the different size things you can blow up. This is for like those portable beds. You can blow those up, you know, for something a little bit smaller, you know, you know, for like uh, pool floaties, stuff like that. You put that to the side. And else in here, you got, you know, structure manuals and stuff like that. Structionis. Uh, you know, I ain't reading that shit, so toss that. And then you got some more stuff. Just showing you some other, you know, stuff that you can get, you know. And then you got two pieces of... Uh, for patch kit um, which I don't understand why patch kits will come with it but whatever it's in there so now to the pump bam that's what you're here for that's what it looks on that side on this side that's what it looks like that's what it looks like on this side the handle that's where you plug it in to charge it this is the bottom of it you can pause that and read it you know I ain't doing it. Whole bunch of stuff, need to know stuff. It's up to you to read it, whatever. Okay, so this side right here, obviously you plug this into, and as you see, it slides in, then you twist it to lock it in place, boom. And that's where the air goes out to pump up, inflate stuff. Here goes another one. Boom, just like that. And then over here, you plug it in this side when you want to deflate something. 
So you just slide it in and then it basically uh, sucks all the air out and deflates whatever it is that you need to deflate. So let's turn it on so you can see how loud this bad boy is. As you can tell, that was loud as hell. And I'm about to show you the suction on it. This bad boy does have suction. You heard all that wind dust coming out of it, but that bad boy does blow. To give you an idea. That bad boy has some power. This bad boy definitely has some power on it, let me tell you. So, let's just, uh, I'm gonna pause the video, then we're gonna come back, and then uh, we're gonna get right into deflating some stuff. See how long it takes to do that. Okay, we back in. Now you see I got an inner tube here or a floaty tube, whatever you want to call it. I got my little attachment on right here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're gonna deflate it. See how long it takes to do that. I don't know if you can see me adjust the camera angle a little bit. Okay. No air is coming out, just so you know. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. <clears throat> oh, I gotta switch it. That's to blow it up. I gotta switch it to this side, which is to deflate it. to deflating, it gets quieter because it's sucking more to get the air out. I guess it's working harder, or maybe it's just dying. Maybe I didn't charge it up as much as I thought I did. But uh, I think that qualifies as deflated. I think that qualifies as deflated. And by my watch here, it shows that it literally took four minutes to deflate that. Now, I probably could have held it and deflated it faster just by squeezing it. So I imagine something like deflating pool toys is not what this thing is meant for. Uh, it's probably meant more for blowing stuff up. So, um, yeah, this bad boy definitely needs to be charged. So. But still, it didn't start slowing down until it got near the end anyway. So I'm going to say four minutes to deflate a round pull floaty. And I'm going to charge this back up and then come back in and, uh, and, um, and blow, uh, blow this back up and see how long it takes to blow it up. Okay, we back in. Now I let this bad boy charge for like a half hour. We're going to see how long it takes to uh, blow this bad boy up. Okay, that being said, let go. Okay. It takes, so now we see it takes a minute and 30 seconds to inflate a tube of this size. A basic floaty inner tube. So that's your gauge there. So roughly four minutes to deflate and about a minute and a half, minute, 15 minute to it and a half, you know, debatable of when, who, how inflated you would probably want it to inflate uh, inner tube, uh, one of these flotation inner tubes around this size. Uh, let's check out the ball situation. 
Now the ball, it's uh, it's already inflated. Zoom out a little bit. The ball's already inflated. Now let's hook it up. I'm gonna pause for a second, hook it up, and we're gonna see how long it takes to deflate it. Okay, now we all hooked up, and we're gonna see how long it takes to deflate. So roughly two minutes to deflate the beach ball there. So, uh, but I'm noticing something that it, for some reason it uses more power to deflate than it does to inflate because I noticed that whenever I'm deflating, it tends to drain a lot faster than because when I just, I had it plugged up for a, a half hour. Now it says it takes an hour to fully charge. So this should have been halfway charged. And it's also saying that this thing is supposed to get you um, uh, hours worth of use. But so far we've only gotten probably about seven minutes worth of use. Um, so there's something completely wrong with that picture. I don't know, maybe it's a bad battery or maybe it needs to like recharge one good time. But the first time I recharged it, I recharged it, you know, overnight. And uh, then I blew up a whole bunch of floaty toys. And uh, it took, uh, I, well, you see how long it takes to blow up, uh, uh, to blow up each piece, you know two minutes roughly to blow up each piece uh, like that size and some you know twice that size like we have a big dolphin over there that i blew up that bad boy took about six minutes that was but the dolphin's big uh you know maybe like 10 minutes to blow up and it lasted the whole time but uh this is the first time i really started deflating with it and i'm um, seeing that it's draining the battery more maybe it uses more power to pull the air out i don't know and another thing that about this that i don't like is that they should definitely have, I'm gonna have to buy some of these like little rubber footies on the bottom because you see I had to keep lifting it up because the, as loud as this thing is, the vibration is much louder. You know, I don't know how well, how much you can hear it on your end, but it's, it, it, the vibration from this thing is insanely loud. I, I don't know if it's because this is a glass table, but even still, it's still loud. I think, um, they should have came with some type of either rubber feet installed on it or some type of sticky rubber feet that they could, you know, put on when uh, putting it together, you know, um, in the box or something like that. Um, so uh, I just got one more test. I'm going to charge it back up for a couple more minutes and then uh, we're going to blow the ball up and see how long it takes to blow up and then we're going to wrap this up. Okay, we back in again. Now we're gonna finish it off by timing to see how long it takes to blow this bad boy up. And then we're gonna conclude this video. So with that being said, let's go, let go. So, about same amount of time to inflate to deflate. About a minute and 30 seconds. So with the beach ball, it's roughly the same time. And with the inner tube, it's uh, about, I'm gonna say 40, about 60% uh, less time, or, or I should say 40% of the time that it took to deflate it. Because it took four minutes to deflate the inner tube and it took a minute and a half to inflate it and um, with this it took a minute and a half to deflate and a minute and a half to inflate so so I guess basically the 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 theme or the um, the gist of this thing is that it's roughly a minute and a half to inflate most floatables and uh, long depending on the floatable it'll take longer to deflate it um, so like I said before, we need some rubber shoes on the bottom of this bad boy to decrease the sound so that way I don't have to hold it up because it does get very annoying when um, when it's on, like that, that vibrating sound, very annoying. You know, if you had some rubber shoes, you know, rubber grips or something down there that would, you know, at least cut the sound in half, if not. 75% then you're just dealing with just the motor sound which is loud in itself, but you don't need two loud things going but um 
I'm going to say that this thing is, uh, it's okay for the money. Oh, uh, what I pay for this? 20 bucks? 25 bucks maybe? 20, I think 24.99, something like that. I'll put the link in the description for it. But, um, pretty much, uh, I'm going to say it's, it depends on you. I mean, if you're, if you're a patient person, then yeah, this is fine because I think this would take a little bit longer to inflate something like a mattress, even though it has the, the attachment to it that blows more air through it. So maybe it takes longer, maybe it takes the same amount of time. I don't know. I don't have a mattress to test it on. All I have is these, a plethora of these pool floatables here. But, um, for the price, I guess the portability of it is is good, but uh, this is definitely not flo uh, inflating any uh, car tires or something like that. You're on the side of the road and you have to sit in your car and you want to inflate a car tire, you'd be there forever. So I, I would definitely not buy this for that. Um, but this is good for something like this, definitely. And I think it would be, uh, you know, if I'm going with a uh, inflating or deflating the actual camping beds, I would rather have something that plugs in. But if you're out someplace remote and you don't have any uh, external power to plug into, then uh, I guess this will do in a pinch. Um, they need to come out, maybe they will come out with a, you know, a more powerful one of this, so that way it'll blow up faster, even though it says inflate fast on there. I don't really think it's as fast as it could be, because if I had the plugged up, the, the plugged up version, would have, would have inflated that ball in like 20 seconds, and probably would have inflated this in like 45 seconds. So. We're talking about at least double the inflate times compared to a plugged up model. So they could definitely make one of these with a little more power. I, I would substitute the amount of time I'm able to use it to have more power because it kind of balances out. If I'm spending less time blowing up my inflatables, then I don't need to use this as long. But you know, with this, I, you know, it claims that you're supposed to be able to use it for an hour, but I don't think you get it full hour out of a recharge. I had to recharge this thing two times in order to be able to get through these two floatables here. So. And I bought this brand new, so I, I don't know. Did it have a, come with a bad battery? I, I don't know. But, um, you know, like I said, it was only 24, you know, 24, 25 bucks. So, you know, for something like what I'm doing, yeah, it's good enough. So, with you know, with that, in, for that itself, you know, I would say I, I would go get this. But um, I would, before buying this, I would look and see if there's any uh, different solutions to something more powerful. But, uh, you have, if you're patient and you don't really care about the power, power and uh, you prefer the price, then this is definitely worth the price. Because I did see some more powerful ones online, but I wasn't spending 50 and 60 bucks for something like this, you know, to do the same job. You know, I mean, especially when I can get a plugged up version for, you know, 20 bucks too. You know, so I'd much rather buy the t plugged up version for 20 bucks and have the same power as a six, the $60 one that's cordless. You know, so, you know. I'll leave you with that. Uh, 25 bucks on Amazon. You can't beat it, you know, for what it does. Uh, with that being uh, said, I'm that Brunez, and I'm out this piece.